I was born and grew up in the Delta and went to Ole Miss and then uh, attended the University of Mississippi Medical Center. And um, during that time, um, decided I wanted to do surgery and had the good fortune to stay here with Dr. Uh, Hardy, who was world-renowned surgeon. And during that period of time, uh, decided to do uh, thoracic surgery and uh, trained uh, at the university with uh, was very fortunate to have the opportunity to train with Dr. Bobby Heath and Dr. Martin Dalton in thoracic and cardiothoracic surgery for two years before I came out in, in, uh, to practice. During that training in surgery I, just, I was fascinated by the, uh, by, the, by the chest when we operate on people that had lung cancers or other problems and the anatomy and the physiology just fascinated me. And I thought that was uh, a really uh, a, a neat, cool thing to do. And uh, so went on and did cardiothoracic surgery, which required two extra years of training, in my case, beyond the five years of general surgery to become specialized in it and to have uh, the boards of the American Board of Thoracic Surgery. And what's great about it for me is the diversity that's involved. Some days I'm working on a, on a child that has a congenital chest wall deformity and the uh, gratification you get from changing somebody's life who's lived with that and just seeing it in the parent's eyes six weeks later when they come back and their child is totally different. The next day I may deal with a 70 year old that has lung cancer and dealing with, with that patient and with their family and, and making a difference in their lives is, is, is very gratifying. The difference between general surgery and a thoracic surgeon is that a thoracic surgeon has the same training as a general surgeon, but you actually uh, get further training in what's called a fellowship, where you, you finish your general surgery and then you do another two to three years depending on the program in extra training specifically in chest. In, in the United States the way that is done is you do a cardiothoracic cardiovascular fellowship so you, you, uh, you do the whole gamut of chest surgery from heart, open heart surgery to lung surgery but I chose to specialize in general thoracic surgery because that became what I really uh, aligned myself with and saw that I could do the most good with. During my thoracic surgery training, uh, one of my professors, Dr. Martin Dalton, who was my uh, thoracic surgery professor, used to give us uh, kind of a genealogy of my training. He was training me and he had been trained by Dr. Watts Webb, who had been trained by Dr. Evarts Graham at the very beginning of thoracic surgery. And Dr. Graham is thought to be the father of thoracic surgery in this country. And Dr. Dalton would convey to me that I, I was being part of the lineage of the training from the very beginnings of the thoracic surgery. So that always made me very proud to be part of that. People come to see me and they're nervous and they're scared. And I sit there and listen to them and try to work through their problem with them and think, well, what if this was my family? How would I deal with that? And I, and I really do put myself in that position every time. Say, if this is my mother or my father, my aunt, uncle, brother, or sister, how would I want them treated? And that's, that's what I really try to think about because this is, going, this is going to make a big difference in their lives and what I do to, for them. And uh, so I always try to put it on a personal, individual basis. I'm involved with the preoperative evaluation. I'm involved with even placing the patient on the operating room table. I'm involved in the, in, in the nuts and bolts of it, in the details of it, because the surgery is important, but what you do before the surgery, what you do after the surgery is sometimes even more important. You also have to uh, be a patient advocate. I see a lot of people that are not candidates for surgery, so you, you have to, uh, you know, focus on that too because part of my job is to teach patients the correct way to go with their disease process. And some people I see are candidates for surgery. Sometimes that's the hardest part of being a surgeon is knowing when not to operate. Uh, so I think that that's important too. But I would think my basic passion is that I'm involved with the patients from the beginning to the end and uh, I make post-op rounds, I make sure that everything's set up right, those chest tubes are going right, the, the, the nurses are aware that I'm a stickler for the details, and uh, here at the Baptist we've worked out a, a great team for dealing with that.
I don't see this as an eight to five job. I take it home with me. I deal with it on weekends. Even when I'm not on call, we, the facilities at Baptist afford us uh, computer technology. I can be in Chicago and be checking on my patients on the computer. So I'm always thinking about that and it's more than just dealing with it during the day, that we deal with it at night. Another thing that uh, people may or may not want to know is I'm a big family person. All four of my grandparents came, immigrated to this country in the, first, in the early part of the 1900s. I grew up in the Delta. Uh, I've been married for 33 years. I have three boys and I'm very proud of. They're all in their 20s. And uh, spend, uh, family's a, a big deal to me.